friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be my February favorites video. I can't believe we're two months into the year. I know everybody and their mamas and their uncles and their cousins and their babies and their baby mamas are all saying that, but honestly, can you guys believe that we are two months into the year? Two months. Two. Today I'm going to share with you guys my favorite products from the month of February. I don't really feel like there's a lot. But I honestly feel like I say that in every single video and then it always ends up being like 45 minutes long. So who really knows? I can't tell you how long it's going to be. Probably over 20 minutes long. Probably should grab a snack right now. Actually, I should probably grab a snack right now. I kind of want some Chips Ahoy or a milkshake. Anyways, if you guys want to know what I've been loving for the month of February, then please just keep on watching. So, of course, number one, first thing that I have been loving this month. And, I mean, it's kind of cheating because I only set it up, like, last week. But I don't even care. This background, I am obsessed with it. Am I, like, not in the center of my name right now? Oh, well, I already started like this. This is how it's going to go. So, I've been loving this new background. And I'm so happy that you guys have been loving it, too. I've been reading your comments, and you guys seem to be all about this background's life. This plant is from the bathroom. <laughs> I stole it from Mama Danger because I thought it'd look cute there. It's just like a weird plant. I don't really know how to... It's a plant thing. These are some faux flowers and a vase from Ikea. These are all my perfumes, of course. This is my name that Mama Danger got me when I think I was like 12 or something. I don't know. And then these are real flowers. You will always pretty much see real flowers here. And that's just because Elver gets me real flowers like every week. So those are real flowers. These are faux flowers. These are from Ikea. I don't remember the name. But it'll be linked in the description box. But I just, I love this so much, and I'm so happy that you guys have been loving it too. And I was just getting really tired of my old background. You guys know that I have been trying to change it since like 1984, so I'm so glad that I've been able to change it and that you guys like it too. So, that was the first favorite, of course. Okay, so moving on to the makeup favorites. The first thing I want to talk about is a skincare item, and it is probably the best, no, it is the best moisturizer that I've ever used in my entire life. Not that my life is that long, but... You get what I'm saying. So this is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. And I love this moisturizer. I feel like everybody loves this moisturizer. So here's the story. I used to have this because I think my aunt gave it to me once. And I tried it and I fell in love with it. I was obsessed with it. But I had already so many moisturizers. So I just wanted to like finish those up. And I completely forgot about it until I ran out of all my moisturizers. And then I went to Mama Danger. And I was like, Mama Danger, hook me up with some moisturizer. She was like, here, you can have some of mine. And it was this one, and I was like, why did I stop using this? This is amazing. I love this because, just so you guys know, I have oily skin, but I love it because it really hydrates your face. I got the uh, big old jumbo size here. After I used Mama Dangerous, and I was like, wow, this is really good, I got me the, um, how big is this? 6.7 fluid ounce, because I'm excessive. Now, for the foundation that I've been loving this month that I am, of course, not wearing today because... What kind of favorites video would it be if I was actually wearing the stuff that I was talking about? This is the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. And you guys saw me do a first impressions that I will link down below. And I love this foundation so much. I know it's like not technically a foundation, but it's really a foundation. Like if you get it, you will know it's a foundation. The coverage is pretty good. It's medium to full coverage. I think that this lasts all day. You guys will see if you saw in the first impressions. It lasted on my skin all day with no issues. And the color I have is Annapurna. I think if you have oily skin, this will be your godsend. I mean, you know, let's see how it works in the summer. But for right now, this is what's up. So I'm using a different brow pencil. And I'm sure you guys have noticed if you look in my description boxes. I have been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer Pencil and it's crazy for me because I have been obsessed with the NYX Micro Brow for so long. But this pencil is just, I feel like it is so ideal for me. I love the color by the way. I have the color Granite and my hair is black so I kind of like to make my eyebrows dark. I know that a lot of people that have black hair don't really like dark eyebrows but I, I like it. And so this is what the pencil looks like. Oh, I should probably slow me Let me do that. This is what the pencil looks like. It just has like an angular, like it looks like an angled brush in a pencil. And like I said, I have the color granite. I'll swatch it for you. It's just like a super ashy, almost black shade, which is exactly what I look for. I hate warmth in my brows so much you guys know this i love this little angled tip because i feel like you can do so many different things with this 
I turn it this way and I draw my brow hairs up in the front and then I'll turn it to the side and just really quickly fill in my brows. It honestly makes the process so much faster. Still takes me three years. Still. But it used to take me ten, so I would say it's improvement. Also, I took the little cap off of the end. There's a cap usually covering this spoolie, but I took it off because I kept opening the wrong cap and it was really upsetting me, so there it is. Sticking with eyes, I have an eye pencil that I have been obsessed with this month and it's crazy because I haven't been doing black every single day and it's like, I'm not using the Marc Jacobs highlighter and blacker. Who am I? The pencil that I want to tell you guys about is by ColourPop. It's the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the color Stomper, which is just a deep brown color. And of course, I already have brown eyeliners, but I needed this one because Costa Riche and Teddy, which are I think the only two other brown eyeshad eyeshadows oh. eyeliners that I have, um, they're both kind of on the warmer side, and I wanted one that was a little bit more neutral. So this is it right here. It's pretty neutral. You can see this is like super ashy in comparison. But it's pretty neutral, and I have been obsessed with this in my waterline. I'm actually wearing it in my eyes today. Wow, that's crazy. Even though my eyes are brown, they're not like any cute green hazel aquamarine color. They're just, they're brown. I feel like it actually brings my eyes out even though like it's brown and my eyes are brown I don't know I feel like it brings my eyes out and I just I love this so much and these do not budge well this is the only one that I have I'll be honest I don't know what the other ones are like but this one does not budge in my waterline whatsoever it's super creamy it actually almost reminds me of the Marc Jacobs pencil although I will say that the Marc Jacobs is a little bit more creamy but this one is really good too and it's five dollars six dollars five or six dollars either one really good price. So I've been loving a mascara this month and that's crazy because I think I mentioned a mascara in my January favorites which I usually don't talk about mascaras but I've been on the hunt for mascara from the drugstore that is going to give me a pretty nice effect because you guys know Too Faced Better Than Sex is everything to me. I am obsessed with that mascara but to me it's just not practical to go out and buy like a $25, I'm just kidding, I don't really know how much it costs, but I'm sure it's like $25, mascara when I wear falsies every single time I do my makeup. So, I've been on the hunt for a drugstore one, and I figure where else to look but L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. Everybody is obsessed with this, and I, I am one of those people now. Add me to the list. This mascara is so good. It's very different from the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I find that this one is better at lengthening and separating and the Too Faced is I think a little bit better for volume but it is so good look at the little wand okay I'm obsessed with this wand it just has like these little baby bristles and they're so good especially for the lower lash line I have just been really loving this and I think this is the mascara that I'm gonna keep purchasing because like what's the what's the point What's the point in buying a $25 mascara if I'm just going to put falsies right on top of it? It doesn't make sense. Now for eyeshadow, there is one palette that I, of course, need to mention, and it's totally cheating, but that's okay with me. This is the Dose of Colors Hidden Treasures palette. You guys saw me do a tutorial with this literally the day that I got it. I did a tutorial with it. I'll link the tutorial down below. This is what it looks like on the inside. I will be honest. The fact that these shadows are, like, scattered around like this is kind of annoying to me because I, I don't know. It's just... It just doesn't look right to me. If, okay, ready for this great idea, if they would have done it like a treasure map and had like dots here and like an X over here, I feel like that would have been really cute. But I feel like now, since it's just scattered there, I don't know. I know it's supposed to be like hidden treasures. Like, I get the concept. It's just, I, I don't know how I feel about it. I love the metallic eyeshadows in here. The mattes are okay. I don't hate them. I don't love them. But the foiled metallic eyeshadows in here are so good. If you guys go back to watch my tutorial, you'll see how pigmented they are, how blendable they are. Like, I'm just going to swatch. Okay. I'm going to swatch the three foiled eyeshadows that I didn't use in my tutorial. So, we'll do diamond. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, where am I going to put this? Oh, my God. What is this? What is, okay. Gemstone, which is like almost like a taupe bronze, if that makes any sense, which I don't think it does. And crown, which is just a true copper shade. Oh my god, they're so pretty. So this one is diamond, gemstone, and crown. They are so intense, so smooth, so pigmented. Like I, I can probably go on for days swatching just from that little like huh, 
Moving on to face products, I do just want to talk about the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. I love this palette. You guys already know that I love this palette. I don't know if I mentioned it in my yearly favorites from last year, but I definitely wanted to because it's my favorite contour palette that I have ever tried. I haven't tried the Makeup Geek Contour Powders yet, but I do want to try those. So once I, you know, actually do, I'll let you guys know. But this is what it looks like on the inside, and I feel like this palette is so universal. Not really in the highlight shades because... If you're even medium, using these highlight shades might be a bit much. Like, I don't use these highlight shades, but these contour shades, anybody can get use out of them. I think light contour is perfect for the nose. I mean, that's what I use it for, for the nose. And I am wearing this palette today, by the way. And medium contour is perfect for my cheekbones. And I think if you're darker, deep contour, I think it's going to work for you. I think it is. If I'm wrong, you let me know, but I think it is. So I love this, and on top of that, I think that the texture... Texture? 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 Is that the right word? Why does that sound so weird? Texture. It's texture. That's the word. It just sounds really weird. And on top of that, the texture on these powders is so buttery and creamy and smooth, just like Lorac always pretty much is. So I love this. I recommend it to anybody. Please don't use the brush that comes with it, though, because I hate that brush. I, I don't even know what that brush is, because as soon as I got it, I was like, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Another face product, and I actually think that I did mention this in another favorites video, but this is completely different context now. So this is the Ofra You Glow Girl highlighter in collaboration with Dupe That, and I, oh my god, I love this. And I know that I said that the other one is my favorite, which I think it still is, but I really, really love this one. The reason I love this one is because it's such an icy color that it stands out where is it there it is there it is it stands out on my skin tone so much i'm not wearing it today just because i felt like this was cool too cool tone for the look that i'm wearing today but it stands out a lot on my skin but at the same time i don't feel like it looks ashy so i feel like if you're my skin tone or lighter you can wear this and it would look beautiful on you but i think if you're darker it might look a little ashy and i love the formula on this it's just like it's so smooth and pigmented and intense and it's just like it's perfect i love this highlighter so much dupe that and ofra slayed this they slayed it so i only have one more makeup product to talk about i guess it's kind of two makeup products this is the kylie lip kit and this is the color candy k i do have the first three colors that launched i don't have the ones that launched after that because you know it is a struggle. It is a real struggle. Out of all the colors that I have, surprisingly to me, this is my favorite color. And of course I kept the box because that's a cute box. I did use this in a tutorial for Valentine's Day that I'll link down below, but I am obsessed with this. I wear this all the time, even if I'm not filming, even if like, it, it doesn't matter. Like I wear it to work all the time. I just, I love it. I love the color. I love the formula. I love everything about it. So this is the lip pencil in Candy K. I will swatch them, of course. And this is the liquid lipstick. You guys already know what the packaging looks like, I am sure. But I am just over the moon with this color. I didn't think that this color would look good on me because I am a little bit deeper than Kylie Jenner. So I figured that it wouldn't look that good. But it actually looks really good. So this is the pencil and then this is the liquid lipstick. And like I said, I did use it in that video, so I'll link that down below. It smells... It smells like cake batter. No, that's not right. Is it cake batter? It smells like a mixture of cake batter and like perfume. It lasts on my lips all day, not drying at all. It literally feels like I'm wearing nothing on my lips. I'm not wearing this right now, by the way. Although this color, it's kind of similar, isn't it? Honestly, I will say the process of getting them is ridiculously annoying. I cannot stress to you how annoying, like my blood pressure goes up like 49 million points when I'm trying to get these things. It's so annoying, but hopefully, hopefully, like, it'll get better with time. Hopefully. Kylie Jenner, I know you're not watching, but do something. So that's it for makeup products. I actually have a nail polish that I want to talk about, and I am so happy that I found this nail polish, guys. I am just so happy. So this is the Milani Quick Dry Top Coat Nail Treatment, and I am obsessed with this top coat. The reason being, whatever top coat I was using before was terrible. And this one is not terrible. <laughs> so you guys obviously know I took my acrylics off and, you know, my nails are like trash right now. They're, they're terrible. But I'm trying to grow them out, trying to get them healthy again, you know. So I've been painting them consistently with like a really good base coat that I got from Dominican Republic. Because like, all the best things come from Dominican Republic. 
That was not to be offensive. So I've been painting them really consistently and I've been trying to keep up with them, trying to make them look cute, doing my best. I would paint them and then, you know, because of my crazy busy schedule, I would paint them at like 9 o'clock at night and then I'd have to go to sleep at like 9.30 at night because, you know, I have an early class in the morning. So I would go to sleep and wake up and, you know, the pillow, the pillow nails, it was terrible. So it was so bad that I was like, you know what, forget this, like I'm gonna go get me a quick dry top coat so I went to Macy's and I got the OPI rapid dry top coat so I got it and I painted my nails once with it and I was like wow this thing is Jesus I love it and then it dropped on the floor and broke and I was just like so I was like no I cannot live without this top coat that was the first time that I did not have those bed nails this is like the longest story I've ever told in my life but that was the first time that I didn't have those like bed nail things. So I was like, nope, I have to go get another one. And then I didn't feel like going to Macy's, so I just went to CVS and this one was there and so I picked it up. And I love it. I think this is just as good as that OPI one, if not better. And it's half the price. I remember the OPI was like 13 something. And this one I think was 5 something. So I'm just saying it's half the price. And I used it today to paint my nails because they were looking real nasty. And I love it. Finally... For my last favorite, it is this candle right here. I'm not gonna like bring it here. Should I bring it here? No. I'm not gonna bring it here because it's obviously burning and I will die. But it is the candle from Bath and Body Works in Beautiful Day. And holy crap, holy crap, okay? I just started burning this a few days ago. And the first time I walked in my room, I was just like, what? This really is a beautiful day. When you walk into your room, it literally smells like a fresh meadow of flowers and cotton candy. It just smells really good and I'm obsessed with it. And it's weird for me because I'm usually not into scents like that. I'm usually into just like cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Every candle I've ever gotten before this one has had cinnamon in the title somewhere besides winter. Has had cinnamon in the title somewhere and I'm obsessed with cinnamon but this one is so good and I think for the spring like you need that. That's my last favorite. And now we will move on to something that is not so much a favorite whatsoever. Actually, I really hate it. So the reason that I haven't done my updated skincare routine, I'm sure you guys are wondering, okay, maybe not all of you, maybe like one person is wondering. But I haven't done my updated skincare routine, which I said I was going to do in the beginning of the year, because I ran out of my cleanser, and then I went to go rebuy my cleanser. And you guys know the cleanser I use. I think I mentioned that in a previous favorites video. It's a clean and clear it's like the 3-in-1 uh, or 2-in-1 exfoliating cleanser, something like that. It's so good. So I ran out of it and I was like, I gotta get my cleanser back. And I went to get it and CVS was out of it. So they had this. The CVS knockoff. I hate this because it is nothing like the Clean and Clear one. Like why? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, it says right here, compared to Clean and Clear Advantage 3-in-1 exfoliating cleanser. It's not similar whatsoever the only thing that's similar is that it says it has benzoyl peroxide the packaging is extremely similar but it is not similar the reason that i love the clean and clear cleanser so much is because it exfoliates my face like there's actual physical beads in it that you can feel when you apply it to your skin it exfoliates my face cleans my face it has benzoyl peroxide so it's supposed to like prevent acne and it's just so good like it just does everything that i need a cleanser to do this says it exfoliates does not the texture is so weird it's just it's totally different it's not even similar i am gonna finish it but i will never repurchase that thing again so that is it for my favorites and my not so favorite this month thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe if you guys are not already don't forget to follow me on instagram and snapchat do not follow me on Twitter because you will literally hear crickets from my account every single day. There's just like dust bunnies forming on my Twitter account because I don't go on it ever. I don't know why I don't like Twitter. I just don't like Twitter. I much prefer you guys talk to me on Snapchat, if anything. But anyways, I'm going to stop talking now. I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Teeth check. Okay. Te voy a hacer gritar mi nombre y despacio. No. Don't you see I'm trying to film? Uh -huh. I don't know what I'm saying. Con ganas de hacer el amor. Bailemos suave. I'm hungry AF. Oh my god. Tell me you're coming home. Because I can't. <laughs> what?
Pegadito como tú sabes, te gusta suave, tú te la sabes. Slay. Slay. What am I saying? What am I saying? What am I saying? What am I saying? Yo quiero amanecer contigo, bailar contigo, vuelta contigo. Sure if that makes any sense, but that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my This is so irrelevant. <laughs> what? I'm about to go eat some chips ahoy because I am so hungry.